The crypto markets are heating up rapidly. With the recent Bitcoin ETF approval in the United States and a pending Ethereum ETF approval, almost everything in the crypto markets is absolutely melting faces. And in the midst of this, Ethereum has delivered some impressive gains. While many analysts are forecasting Ethereum to reach $20,000 per coin this cycle. Can you believe that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna actually analyze whether that's possible or not so that you can make up your mind for yourself and give you my thoughts on this matter on whether I think this can actually happen, you know, as a blockchain developer myself who works with the Ethereum technology on a daily basis and has been a long time ETH holder myself ever since 2017. So if you're around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And while Ethereum offers some impressive gains to crypto holders, the best way to make life-changing money inside this industry is to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step -step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. So I always have to give these disclaimers at the beginning of this videos. Nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not trying to convince you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. And, you know, full disclosure, Ethereum has been my largest crypto holding for many years now. But obviously, I can't affect the price of Ethereum in this video because it's a $400 billion asset. So that being said, what I really want to do in this video is examine the top price target of $20,000 per coin for Ethereum and break that down because anytime somebody gives you a price target like this, you have to ask why. And so to examine this, we'll look at three different factors. Number one, we'll do an analysis from a valuation perspective. Like, is it even possible for it to be worth that much money? You know, for example, like Ethereum couldn't be worth $20 million per coin, but can it be worth 20,000? And we'll also look at it from a fundamentals perspective, like what would cause people to buy enough Ethereum to push that price up? And then finally, I'll give you my unbiased thoughts on the matter. All right, so let's get into point number one. Let's actually analyze the Ethereum price from a valuation perspective. So at the last peak of the crypto market, Ethereum was worth about $4,800, $4,900. Let's just round up to $5,000 for easy numbers here, okay? And you have to ask, like, what causes a cryptocurrency to be worth a certain amount? Well, basically, you take the entire amount of all the cryptocurrency in existence and you take the market cap, how much all those coins are worth, and you divide those two numbers to come to price, okay? So basically, if you look at the past when Ethereum was about $5,000 per coin at the peak of the last bull run, the market cap of Ethereum, okay, was about $600 billion. And the supply of Ether, basically the total coins in existence, was about 117 million coins. And so if you take this number, the Ethereum market cap, 576 billion, all right, and you divide it by uh, the amount of coins in existence, about 117 million, that gives you the price of about $4,800 per coin. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually look at some of these variables and then extrapolate those to what could happen during this cycle to arrive at some possible Ethereum price targets to see is 20K possible, and if it's not, what's a different price? So another metric I want to use to, to do this is the Ethereum dominance, okay? Now, what is that? Well, basically, that's the percentage of the entire crypto market that Ethereum occupies, okay? So basically, if you look at uh, the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies, at the peak of the last bull run was about $3 trillion. So if you take all the cryptocurrencies, add them up together in value, about $3 trillion, all right? And then the Ethereum dominance at that peak or around it, all right, was about 20%, okay? So you can also arrive at the market cap this way then to get the price. So if you put that into the calculator, you look at the Ethereum market cap, you know, about $576 billion, you multiply about 20% of the dominance that gives you a rough market cap of 600 billion, which is pretty close to the actual number. And then you divide that by the Ethereum supply, all right, which is the, all the coins in existence, which we saw here, which gave us about $5,000 per coin. A little bit off, but pretty close. And now if we basically take those numbers and start looking at what can happen this cycle, let's just call this cycle into 2024, 2025. Nobody really knows when this is going to happen. But let's assume that the crypto market gets to a $10 trillion total market cap. That's a pretty wide assumption by a lot of people, okay? So if you look at this last time we got to $3 trillion, let's assume we get to $10 trillion at some point, all right? And then let's assume we only stay there for a little while. And just like all other past cycles, that Ethereum is reaching its peak valuation around the time that we reach peak crypto market valuations. That's basically how things have played out in the past. So if we take that assumption... And then we look at the Ethereum dominance, okay, and what it's done in the past. And we saw that it was about 20%, okay, at this last peak. 
And, you know, it has not been going down and I expect it to, you know, at least hit back 20%. Maybe it's even a little bit higher. Let's just use 20% for now and plug some of these numbers in to see where we could go. So basically we take the Ethereum dominance, keep it at 20%. And then we look at the Ethereum market cap. Basically, we take the entire crypto market cap and multiply it by 20%. That's going to give us a $2 trillion market cap on ETH. And then we have to look at the Ethereum supply. Okay, don't forget ETH is deflationary. It's shrinking all the time. We're going to plug in roughly 120 million coins. You can see what it is, ultrasound money. Again, this will probably go down, but let's just use 120 million for rough numbers. We plug that in, all right? And then we basically uh, calculate the price by taking the market cap and dividing it by the supply, all right? And that's going to give us a valuation of $16,666.67 per coin. Now, that's not quite $20,000, but there are a few assumptions here that could easily be challenged and also some estimations. So there is some margin of error. All right, this $10 trillion market cap, maybe we get a little bit more than that. Maybe we don't quite get that much. Or even this 20% dominance number, maybe it actually goes higher. Okay, so let's plug in some of those numbers and see what it looks like. So if the dominance increases to 22%, that brings us to $18,333 per coin. If the dominance goes to 24%, that puts a smack dab in the middle of $20,000 per coin. So can ETH hit $20,000 per coin from value perspective? Yes, it's possible if the crypto market cap reaches 10 trillion and it assumes 24% dominance, assuming those things coincide with one another. Or if we roughly hit 20%, and we go a lot slightly above 10 trillion or some combination of both, it can hit $20,000 per coin. All right, so that's an overview of valuation perspective of is it possible for Ethereum to hit $20,000 per coin? Now, let's look at some reasons why this could actually happen, okay? Because at some point, like, people have to want to buy Ethereum and they have to want to buy enough in order for it to reach that price point. So let's look at some fundamentals from that perspective. So number one is definitely the ETFs and what a massive deal these could be for Ethereum. Okay, we saw a, approval for a spot Bitcoin e e ETF in the United States. This is a historic, massive event for all of crypto, including Bitcoin and others, right? And so what happened was that put a lot of buy pressure on Bitcoin prior to the ETFs, all right? And there's a lot of suspicion that that would be a sell the news event and that Bitcoin would just crash after that. Hasn't happened yet at the time of recording this video and it looks like the ETFs have only been bullish for Bitcoin and likely will be continuing on into the future, all right? And if that's also the case for Ethereum, that's going to open up the door to massive institutional capital that's entering in the crypto space in a way that has never been happened before. All right, so the ETFs are a massive deal. So the other reasons are basically like reasons why you want to hold Ethereum as opposed to Bitcoin, okay? I expect Ethereum to outperform Bitcoin this cycle and probably for many years to come. And that's got to do with incentives, okay? Especially if you have a lot of uh, new people entering in the crypto space through ETFs. One big reason is yield. So Ethereum is a passive income yield bearing asset. You can stake it. You can also do things like bundle this yield up into an ETF product. Ethereum is deflationary, okay? So basically uh, there's less ETH on the market, you know, every single year because ETH is getting burned whenever new transactions are created. It's like the Bitcoin having happening all the time. And when you have something that has steady demand and the supply is shrinking all the time, then that's a recipe for a number to go up. And the final big reason for, you know, ETH outperforming and more people wanting to hold it is just the upside. It's a favored asset, okay? A better risk reward scenario, especially at this point in the crypto markets. And also it has this advantage of being more like a venture bet and a technology bet because Ethereum is a platform that you can build applications on, whereas Bitcoin is more just like digital gold. And so all those reasons could basically attract a lot of capital and buying pressure on Ethereum. And those are some reasons why we could actually, you know, push the price of this up to some of these price targets that I'm outlining in this video. In addition to just the regular stuff that happens inside the crypto cycles with people buying crypto, using leverage, all that type of stuff. All right, so now let's get into point number three. What's, what is my view on this? Okay, do I think this is possible? What are my potential price targets for Ethereum? So again, nothing I'm saying in this section, you, should you hang your hat on or consider this financial advice? I don't have a crystal ball. Okay, you shouldn't trust anybody who claims to have one. And I also want to explain that. I always think about this stuff in terms of probability because I can't accurately predict the future. I try to see like, well, what's the most likely thing? What's the next most likely thing? And then what's the next most likely thing after that? So let's look at some scenarios. So do I think that Ethereum could hit $20,000 per coin? Yes, I think it is possible. Now hear me well, I'm not making this video to say Ethereum is going to hit $20,000 per coin, but based on the valuations and the reasons said a second ago, it is possible. Now that being said, I would consider that a stretch goal, okay? More like the upper limit of what's possible for Ethereum to hit this cycle. Now, if I'm just totally proven wrong and it goes way beyond that, great. 
Don't call me because you sold your coins before because I said that in this video, but I consider that an upward stretch goal and I will likely have taken a lot of profit from ETH before it actually reached $20,000 per coin. Again, not financial advice. So that is in the realm of possibility. I think it's a stretch goal. What are some potentially more likely price targets? Well, if you look back at the analysis like I was talking about, and if we assume $10 trillion and we assume 20% dominance, um, you know, that's going to put ETH more about the $15,000 per coin mark. And even if it stretches to 22% dominance at 10 trillion, then that's eighteen, you know, thousand dollars And so if any of these variables fall short, whether it's the market cap doesn't quite get to 10 trillion, maybe gets to eight, that's going to put Ethereum somewhere between 10 and $20,000 per coin, which I think is more realistic, assuming that we actually do get another parabolic, you know, crypto cycle like we've seen in the past. And even if we do, my gut sort of tells me we probably skew closer towards the bottom end of that range. All right, now let's look at another potential scenario in terms of prices because you have to understand the future is not programmed, okay? We're witnessing we're, we're witnessing right now crypto feels a lot like different cycles in the past. Um, we could have a global event of some kind that causes a massive scare and a panic dump in the crypto markets. We could see a systemic risk to crypto like we've seen in the past that causes a panic dump and ends the party early. Or we could simply just run up prices really, really fast in an unsustainable fashion where we don't quite get as high as we would have otherwise. And therefore, every one of these variables is at risk and may not quite get to these valuations. And if any of that stuff type of happens that compromises the cycle in some you know important way, then probably we're looking at Ethereum hitting somewhere between the five to $10,000 range per coin. And also what you have to understand is crypto markets are extremely volatile and the valuations that I'm talking about in this video are peak valuations that tend to only hang around for a few weeks at a time, if that. All right, so that's an overview of how Ethereum could reach $20,000 per coin from a valuation perspective, from a fundamentalist perspective, and my thoughts on whether that's possible and some other potential price targets to watch out for for Ethereum. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Is it possible for Ethereum to hit 20K per coin? Could it go higher? Is it going to be somewhere low? Is ETH just going to crash and burn and go to zero? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're done leaving your comment, make sure you like the video, subscribe. And while also Ethereum offers some great potential to make some sick gains in the crypto markets, you know, the best way to make money in this space is to jump in the industry, double down on your skills and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step start to finish over at dappadversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really want to be an expert to get started today. I felt people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.